Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just need to point out, if you've been subscribed to me for like quite a while, you have noticed I have cut my hair and I'm actually obsessed. So I apologize if I'm constantly touching my hair. But today I'm gonna to be doing a What Is In My School Bag 2021. I'm taking this hoodie off because it makes me look a bit weird. By the way, I got this bag from Strawberry Moon and I really, really like it. This is what the bag looks like. It is so, so pretty. It's like gold aside here and then it has a gold zip as well. And then at the back, it has a pocket, which I keep like girl stuff in there. It is a very cute bag overall and I really do like it. But I'm gonna show you everything I've got in here. Okay, so the first thing I got, which I really, really love, it's very great for the winter as well. I got this scarf from Primark, which was four quid, which I think is very good. I don't know if these will be like up to trend, but honestly, I don't care because in the winter, I get so, so cold at school and the teachers are like, oh, you can't wear jumpers. And some of the teachers are kind of weird because they just like don't let me wear my own jumpers at home which I just don't think makes sense. But I have got this because I kind of use it as a blanket and it's actually very warm so if you're outside like having your lunch and stuff I have this and it's a lifesaver so I definitely recommend getting one of these for when you go back to school. The next thing I have is this water bottle. I got this from Wilco and it's actually really pretty. It's like a marble pattern. I've had this for quite a while but it's not that bad and I just reuse it. So it's like a hydro flask so I can keep in like hot drinks and cold drinks and they still stay like really good temperature which I really like about hydro flasks. I am sounding like a big visco girl right now. And the next thing I have is, this might sound strange to some people, but I'm gonna start reusing this because I've had it for around quite a while now, but I have this like, I'll just explain what it is. So you can keep in like hot meals like this at lunch. I prefer like having packed lunch instead of school lunches, but what you can do, it has like a spoon like this. This is like really weird, like I'm just unboxing like lunch stuff, but I just like, turn it like this and it's a spoon and it's like really handy because you can keep in like pasta and stuff i do normally just have like a pack lunch but i'm gonna start trying using this one because it's winter and also it's like better than just a sandwich you know like every day you could put like more stuff in here like soup pasta everything okay so the next thing i have in my school bag is headphones i cannot literally go anywhere without headphones like if i am in the car and my brother's just so annoying i need headphones fortunately i can't wear them in school which is very annoying but i really like having these i have wore headphones before like in school without getting caught with a hoodie but then the teacher yelled at me and my friend because we were in a hoodie and it was very annoying if we did get caught wearing headphones because my school is very very strict they would have probably gave us a detention for wearing headphones the next thing i have is i just keep it in a pocket here and it's just tissues because like you never know if you'll need them also for corona because i don't want to get covid thank you very much and i don't think anyone else does so if you're like packing your school bag like whilst watching this or thinking of it i definitely recommend getting some like tissues as well and talking about like corona i also have some hand sanitizer i also have a mask with that the last bag that i got which was like before the summer holidays it kind of broke because i was very stupid and i overfilled it and it just snapped and i looked like an idiot because i was just like carrying my bag around like this at school but i didn't actually notice this until i got it but it's like red on the inside i'm not too a big fan of that but it doesn't really matter because it's just school but i keep like the pockets the tissues in there and then my hand sanitizer and I have a deodorant in there in case I need it. I'm just showing you the pockets, by the way. And then in this bit of my bag, in here I have some bubbles because my PE teachers can be very annoying and be like, why haven't you got your hair tied back? So I'm gonna keep them. And then I've got my mask, like I said, in that pocket. That's basically it in that pocket with my headphones. So the next thing I keep in my school bag, which I do need all the time, is a hairbrush because you never know when your hair can be really messy. Like my hair, gets very very knotty super fast and it's so frustrating i could literally brush it for 10 minutes the school morning and then when i go to school it will literally look like i've jumped in a bush it is so annoying but i keep this in my bag and it's very handy the next thing i keep in my bag is amazing as well i'm gonna actually spray it right now because it smells so good it's so cold i don't know if that's the name but it smells so good and then the next thing i have is this clip okay let me explain because i got my hair cut today i do not know what this is gonna look like on my head anymore so i'm actually gonna try it and i just like love these how it makes my hair look shorter like when i tie it back 
But I'm gonna actually see what it looks like right now. This prop's gonna make me look so stupid. <laughs> right, let's just not even talk about that. It makes me look like a wannabe Jojo Siwa. Like, you know those little kids who have their hair like in a side ponytail? So I'm never wearing this again until my hair grows back, that's for sure. But yeah, that's a bit annoying. The next thing I have is a glasses case, because if you're like me, I have very bad eyesight, which is very annoying. I am actually supposed to wear glasses all the time, but I don't like them. I have contact lenses, but they kind of scare me. I know that sounds really bad, but they kind of scare me. Like, my nails grow back so fast. Like, it's... Like, most people would think that's a good thing, but it's very, very annoying when you're trying to do contact lenses. And I did it the other time. The last time I did my contact lenses was probably, like, a week. Actually, I would say two weeks ago. I did it. One of the eyes that I put it in, it was really irritated for some reason. I'm going to start wearing my contact lenses, hopefully. But this is what I look like with glasses. I know. Disgusting. I swear, most people I know suit glasses, but I just look stupid. You can see my ring light in the reflection. <laughs> but I do need them in school, like, if I'm doing reading and stuff, because I could not see what it's saying. So the next thing I have is a new thing that I'm going to start to do. And chewing gum is just, like, amazing, because, like, it tastes amazing. You can have it in... I just have it in the classroom, honestly, because it's really boring, and it kind of, like... I don't know. Does that sound weird? It kind of makes, like, the lesson more fun if you have chewing gum. I'm not making sense, but, um... Yeah, I just keep chewing gum in because it's very good. Also, by the way, the reason why my pencil case is not in here because I'm going to do a video separate of my school supplies. But I'm really excited to film that one. But my pencil case has not the stationery in, but I can show you which one I have. So this is a pencil case I have. I apologise, it's quite a bit dirty right now. I got it like around, I'd say, two weeks ago. I got it from Madeline. It was actually, I don't know how much it was. I feel like it was seven pounds or something. I'm not sure. But it's a bit dirty because I went on a trip with Caitlin and I couldn't find my makeup bag anywhere because I put all my makeup in my drawer. I was like reorganizing like my drawer and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just used this. That was going to be my pencil case. But I cleaned it a bit, but it's still a bit dirty. I'm going to clean that soon. I'm going to use this for when I go back to school. I'm not sure if I'm going to pack one or both of these. So I have just a normal like diary here I got from Wilco. It is very pretty. I do like it a lot and it just looks like this. It also takes up less space, which is great. But then the next one I got, I do like as well, but it is a lot bigger. It's from Sainsbury's. And what I do like, so I'm taking my GCSEs this year, unfortunately. And I really regret what I've chosen. I chose iMedia and I couldn't even animate a simple animation. And half the class wasn't even taking it. Like, there's only three people in my set who are doing iMedia. And I couldn't animate a crab to move. That is really bad and I'm taking it with GCSE and I'm taking French and I don't understand languages. But I'm taking performing arts. That's the only good thing. Anyways, I have this which I do like because what it is, you can like on each folder you can like, if that makes sense. I apologise because I was making absolute no sense. I don't know why I kept saying folder but what I meant by folder is um, they kind of look like post-it notes and the little like post-it things kind of keep a section like on a topic together so all the papers are together and not mixed up if that makes sense but that's what I was trying to say. But I got this from Sainsbury's and it is very very handy so I think I will be packing this. So that's the end of what is in my school bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean so much to me if you could like, subscribe, and maybe comment if you like want more videos like this. But I really enjoyed filming this, and it was really nice chatting to you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I need to put everything away now, and I don't want to because I'm lazy.